Hello, welcome in. Welcome into Wednesday night healing. Can you believe it's already Wednesday? As you come in, just consent to the energy healing. Let it start flowing. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Marie. How are you? How have your Wednesdays been? Are we ready to just fully relax and let our souls be calm? I'm so tired, but good, good, me too. I'm a little tired too, but other than that, good. I feel like the energy is just kind of tired recently. And again, just come in and relax. No, you are not 30 minutes late. I am. So I had to start 30 minutes late because I had to accommodate a client. So that's why we're starting at nine. Hello, Devin. How is everyone? So this is Reiki healing. It's the channeling of life force energy. This is an ancient practice from Japan. It can do no harm. It's amazing for physical healing, spiritual, mental. You can use it for anything. Like right now, one of my clients is using it to build her business and it has been amazing. You can use it for anything, but just sit back and relax. Let this be your time to just rest your soul as we're calling it tonight. I'm so sorry, Andrea. And yes, you can also set an intention. So how I work in the lives is I listen to the universe, let it tell me what needs to be worked on most, but um, Reiki will flow throughout at the same time and it can heal other things simultaneously. Again, as you come in, just get comfortable, consent to the energy flow. It will start flowing. Hello, Amy, how are you? How have you been? Welcome back in. We have some exciting things. I don't, I don't think you've been here in a while. We have some exciting things I'll start announcing as more people come in. Do you, Andrea? That is awesome. And again, just relax. Let's bring in selenite. Why not? Let's get the, the selenite out to start clearing as people come in. Um, I see 27 right now. So it might be lagging a little bit on your side. And again, if you're new here, say hello. We have an amazing group of people in here where you can talk, you can share. We're all here to support each other. Rain, I'm glad you're here. Welcome in. Hello, Toady. How are you? Or Tiffany, I remember now. And your email, I think your email cracks me up. I won't say it on here, obviously, but your email address, I love it. Were you? I love it, Andrea. How is that going? How did you enjoy that uh, process? So tonight, Alyssa, we're just focusing on relaxing our souls is what I'm feeling. So it's like more than just physical relaxation. It's like energetic relaxation tonight too. Just re renewing ourselves, renewing our bodies, our spirits to get us through the rest of the week. Doing a lot of stress release tonight is what I'm feeling. Was it? <laughs> I love it though. <laughs> yes, just come in, sit back and relax. Let this be your time to just not think about anything, but just right here, just healing. Oh, Andrea, that is awesome. And right now I'm using selenite in conjunction with Reiki to just help raise the vibration and clear out the energetic gunk. Get that gunk out of here. And again, thank you all for being here and doing something for yourself. That's what's most important. Gunk, go away. Yes, get it out of here. And then as more people come in, I'll announce some cool things, some new things. Thank you for consenting. Thank you for coming in, Chelsea. How are you tonight? Just let everything leave your mind. Let it leave your spirit. The stress that you've been holding onto today, let it go in this session. Hello, Amber. How are you? Oh my gosh. Yes, relax, and if you fall asleep in this session, perfect. Don't try to stay awake. Let the Reiki put you to sleep. I have to announce what I did right before the live started, but waiting. No, you can, Marie, you can. 
Thank you for consenting, Bonnie. Thank you for consenting, Jess. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you for the heart beat, Jess. Thank you for consenting, Alexandria. How are all of you? How has everyone's Wednesday been? Are we getting through the week? Are we making it? If it's been a little rough, let Wednesday be your reset. Thank you for consenting, Alyssa. Thank you, Andrew, for the heart beat. Again, if you're new, say hello, introduce, you introduce yourself if you feel called to do so. We have an amazing group of people in here where we are here to support everyone and you can share anything. I joined free bloom session. I took the 19th, still some room, everyone. Link in my bio, yes, Marie, I'm so excited you signed up. So I am running a free healing call for my program called Bloom. Um, so you can choose either the 19th or the 26th, get an introduction to the program, and get free healing in this call. So it is completely free, link in bio, you can choose August 19th or 26th. I would love to do some more healing, really in-depth healing for you. And then if you love it and you want to join the full program, you can join the full program too. Oh, Alexandra, I'm so sorry. Alyssa, nine months, congratulations! Yes, Andrea, sign up. It is completely free. Hello, Donna from Philadelphia. We're not far from each other. I'm in New Jersey. I have apprentice school all week. Oh, Rain. Definitely sending you good vibes for that. Thank you for consenting, Rainbow. Hello, Nikki. How are you? I did get to go to TJ Maxx today and got some really awesome Halloween stuff. I love it, Amber. <laughs> Yes, and if you want to sign up for that free Bloom call, link is in the bio. So the program, the full program is first link, but then the free call is the second link. So sign up for some free healing. You have nothing to lose in a free call. In fact, you're going to gain. So definitely sign up for it. Learn more about the program and get some healing. Hello, Ashley from Vermont. How are you? I am so sorry. Definitely sit back and relax and soak up this energy. Hi, India. How are you? How many hours did you work today? You better not have. It better been zero. <laughs> and yes, you can join the call on the 19th or the 26th. Pick the date that works best for you. The reason I had to split it up is because we're doing my candle clearing in the session and I can only burn so many candles at a time. <laughs> Hello, Tay. How are you? India, I am so, so sorry. Sending lots of healing energy your way and to everyone in here. I am so sorry. You need to take that time and rest as much as you can. And actually, speaking of that, hi, Quinn, how are you? Welcome in, how's your Wednesday been? And I, uh, speaking of you having that and um, let's go into the chest and do some release here and i'm going to use selenite we're going to keep with it thank you caitlin for the finger hearts pretty good not too bad hello annie how are you and quinn and annie if you're just coming in and lynn hello how are you don't forget to sign up for the free bloom call on the 19th or the 26th Get a free healing session and in-depth clearing, candle clearing. If you've been here for my candle clearings, you're going to get that and a Reiki session and an introduction to the full bloom program. You have nothing to lose in a free call. You're just going to gain. And you get to learn about a program and get some healing. Link is in the bio. I was a nurse for years and now I'm an energy healer. It is Tay, 100%. It is hard both ways. That is so awesome how how um, you combine the two worlds, nursing and a healing, energy healing. I love it. What I thought was a sinus infection actually was COVID. I am so sorry. And your parents. I am so sorry. Sending lots of healing energy to you all. Melon tree. All of them technically could be used for mental health. Are you needing help like calming your thoughts or like stress? I have a few recommendations depending on what exactly you're looking for. Hello, Joe. How are you? Welcome in. 
Oh, I am so sorry. Does he have it too, India? Or is he still in the clear? Again, let's go into the chest. We're still in the chest, releasing some physical gunk and energetic junk. Too much on the table at once. I would do lipidolite for you. Um, where is my piece of lipidolite? So it's like this purple stone. It's made of mica, a very beautiful purple. This is actually what's called a worry stone. You can rub your thumb in it. I would definitely recommend it. Glad you're doing okay, Joe. I didn't test him because he didn't feel well at first. You're welcome, Melon Tree. <laughs> it's uh, moving. Um, I want to bring in um, Lapis Lazuli. Thank you, Stan, for the star with the heart. So this is also going to be for energetic and physical release. You signed up, Andrea. Thank you for signing up. I can find my Lapis. So this should help you too, India, with your issue. And also, this is going to help open up the heart chakra and the throat chakra. I'm feeling both are opening up here. And thank you all who are signing up for the free bloom call. I'm so excited to do that healing session for you, do an in-depth clearing and an in-depth Reiki session and tell you about the bloom program. You have nothing to lose in a free call. In fact, you're going to gain because you're getting a completely free full session. So I'm so excited to do that all for you. Oh. <laughs> India, it's amazing how kids do that. They'll be like, you know, you're like, oh my god, so worried about him one day thinking, do we need to go to the hospital? And the next day they're like, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, so Melon Tree, I do Reiki, but I do have an appointment that has a tarot reading in it. But I don't have like standalone readings. But if you want a Reiki healing and tarot, I can do both in one appointment. Thank you all for booking. I am so excited to do that for you all. I think you all are really gonna love it. The Bloom program is about getting your life kick-started, pulling out the energetic weeds. Um, if you don't know where to go, this is gonna help yank those weeds out from off of you, let the sun come in, show you where to go. Or maybe you do know where you wanna go, but you just feel like you haven't been able to climb up and get there. This is the program for you. And so again, if you sign up for the free call, it, it's gonna be amazing. Uh, Marie, yes, I just saw your message. Yes, absolutely, to your question. Feeling a little bit better today. I just have some stomach issues and lack of appetite. I'm so sorry, India. Definitely try to eat something anyway if you can. Hey, Morgan, I am good. How are you? Kids are resilient, hey, 100%. Thank you, Melon Tree. It is a amethyst. Thank you, Lynn, for signing up. I'm so excited. I think you all are gonna love it. And again, this is the program um, born from experience and born out of the need, you know, the, the, the wish that I had had something like this when I started my healing journey. Is the free call a group call? The free call is a group call, Annie. So it's gonna be similar to like the candle clearings that we do on full moons. Um, and then we're gonna do a big old Reiki session and yank all the energetic weeds out to jumpstart your bloom, to jumpstart your seed blooming. Do you, Quinn? I love Lapis, it's amazing. Thank you, Marie. Uh, so Melon, I am a Pisces, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Those are my big three. And Annie, I think you would really like this call. I think this would help jumpstart some things for you as well, help you have more confidence. I think it would, it would just really empower you. And again, on the free call, you have nothing to lose and you're gonna gain. <laughs> yeah, and you, you get to virtually hang out, actually get to virtually hang out in a call. And again, there are two dates, the 19th and the 26th, pick which works best for you. Leo Capricorn Capricorn I love it that's big energy there Quinn thank you melon tree you sent more oh Lauren is on her way in she went to get dinner and then had to stop at the store you're on the 19th yes I'll have to check and see who is who see if it's like evenly split <laughs> triple Virgo Tay I need some of that energy I need Virgo Scorpio, Libra, Virgo, Annie. I love that combination. Yes, 
Andrea. Yes, we can all be on camera together. Of course, you don't have to be if you don't want to be. It's okay. But if you want to be on camera and we can see each other's faces. I didn't know you could be three. I'm not educated enough. I think you can, Melon Tree. Yeah. Gemini, Taurus, Gemini. Oh, Alexandria. That is awesome. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. That's a very interesting combination. Sun, Gem, Gemini Sun, Sag Rising, still don't know the moon. Um, if you go to astro.com, it'll calculate it for you. So much more fun if we can see each other's faces. I think so too, Annie. Finally put faces with, you know, like usernames and tiny profile pictures that are hard to see sometimes. Virgo, Pisces, Gemini. I love it, India. Yes, Melon Tree, absolutely. Oh, and again, let's take a lot of weight off of the heart here is what I'm really focused on. And also, um, India, like with your COVID, helping release that physical pressure too. So we're doing both things at once here. Aqua, Pisces, Libra. I love it. My, my Pisces, Sagittarius, Sagittarius is kind of an interesting combination. They're all like kind of emotional, like Sagittarius is fiery. So mix that with water and it's just like, I can be, you know, I'm very emotional, but I can also have a little bit, little bit of a bite sometimes. You're so welcome, India. Yeah, yeah your combination Quinn 100% is big energy. That is fabulous. I love it. Ooh. <clears throat> Pushing energy out. It's even making me cough. I feel a bunch of stuff coming right to the surface, right in the chest. So if you're feeling this pressure, breathe through it. It's normal. Let it come up and let it out. My partner's a double Virgo and I'm a triple, so our house is interesting. I love it, Tay. <laughs> Andrea, I recommend astro.com to calculate your big three. All air signs, so I'm always in the clouds, Rihanna. That's too funny. I love it. You know, there was a client I had. I need to ask her if she is an air sign. I forgot what she was. Um... But in her session, I was like, your feet float a lot, like energetically. And she's like, yeah, they do. And I'd be interested to know if she's an air sign, because that would make total sense. I didn't get notified again. I had to look at the time. No, you're fine. And also I started 30 minutes late because I had to accommodate a package client. They needed to do their session tonight. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. It's fine. Uh, astro, like astrology, but just astro.com if you're talking about how to calculate your, your big three. People are always surprised that I'm a Scorpio sun. I can kind of see that, Annie. Yeah, I can kind of see that with you. Booked on the 26th, Amber. Thank you, I'm so excited. I think you're gonna love it. Who's having some heartbreak in here? feeling some heartbreak come up and um, so I'm gonna bring green calcite in for this everyone always guesses I'm a Leo sign as soon as they meet me I love it even though I'm an earth sign I stay in the wind and air oh I love that Tay me too Toady oh Lua I am so sorry and Quinn I am so sorry yes let's work on this Rose is a Pisces sun Pisces Oh, Pisces, Pisces Sun and Taurus Moon. I love it. That's a very interesting combination with that Taurus energy and the water energy. Do you feel like you identify more as Pisces too? Because sometimes I feel like I identify more as my Sagittarius sign. Yeah, this feels like heartbreak and just sadness in general, just like something really devastating happening. So let's work on this for a moment. It doesn't have to be a breakup. 
just something that really hurt your heart or hurt your hurt your confidence or pulling this out just acknowledge that it's there and say you're allowed to leave you're allowed to release thank you india for the heart me Ooh, andrea um it's been a while since i've been on the site and one of the drop downs there should be something that says like calculate your chart or maybe google astro calculate your chart and it might come up definition of a leo i love it deaf more pisces more emotional not so much heartbreak anymore but my dad decided oh i am so sorry tay i don't i don't understand that like i don't i just don't get how you can how you can do that and I'm so sorry, but I'm so glad you're here and we're all here to support you and to support one another here. You know, like, it, it's one thing to, like, cut ties with someone because of something bad that they did, but to cut ties with someone for just being who they are and just being happy and healthy, that doesn't make sense. And I'm so sorry that happened. been struggling with the heartbreak of the breakup and him finding someone new. Quinn, I am so sorry. And thank you whoever just signed up for the full bloom program. Thank you. I am so excited to run that for you. You are going to love it. It is going to clear your energy like this. And by the end of the third session, you're going to be a new person. So when Christmas rolls around, you'll be like, holy cow, look at all this progress I've made in that three weeks. It'll, you're just, before you know it, before you can blink, you're gonna be like, holy cow, look at all the energetic weeds I let go of, look at how much I've achieved, look at the path that I've started going down. This is the program for that. I'm sorry, you might hear me like jump around from comment to notification. That's how I am in the lives, kind of bird-brained. Because I'm trying to like answer and acknowledge everyone. Mm. Tarot and Ferrets, how are you? Did you sign up for the free call? Don't forget to do it. There's still some spots left, I think. Thank you for the high bear, Tarot. This is a green calcite. The bottom of it looks kind of blue, like Caribbean calcite, but it's green here up. Thank you, India, for the hand heart. My heart was extra heavy today. I don't know why. I'm so sorry, Annie. Who hasn't signed up for the free bloom call yet? Come join the fun, I promise. Thank you. Lanaya, how are you? Welcome in. How have you been? Eating cold stone. Oh, Annie. Sometimes you gotta like literally feed your soul, you know? <laughs> no, you didn't, Tarot. I love it. Oh, yes, Tarot. So I have the paid program, obviously, that is up. That's the three week program. But I have a free call on the 19th or the 26th. Pick whichever date works best for you. And we're gonna do also a healing in that in that call. So it's not just an informational call, it's also a full healing session. So yes, sign up for that. Thank you, Sue, for the rose. Is it, Tarot? Oh, that would be so cool if you wanted to. I'm not saying you have to do it on your birthday, but if you wanted to give yourself a little healing session on your birthday, that would be amazing. Yes, and I did it on Saturday to accommodate more people. I want everyone to experience what this healing would be like, get some healing, that's why I do this. Oh, Amanda, the link is in my bio. So the first link is, thank you for the cowboy hat, Sue. The first link is the, um, oh, you're fine, Amanda. The first link is for the paid program, and then the second link under it is for the free call. So the first link, paid program, second link is the free call. You have nothing to lose in the free call, you're going to gain. And then if you're like, yes, this resonates, this was amazing, this is what I need to do, then you can sign up for the, for the full program. There is a payment plan of only 83 cookies 
0.83.25 cookies if you catch my drift, so I made it very affordable. Um, so yeah, I want everyone to be able to partake in this that feels called to partake in it. Hello, Tisa, how are you? Or, wait, Tisa or Tessa? Oh my gosh, is it Tisa? Now, it's been so long. That's what I was about to say, it's been so long. Now I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> hey, Lauren, glad you made it in. Capricorn, Gemini, Scorpio, Andrea, yes. Hectic, how are you? Welcome in. Thank you. Okay, I was like, it's been a hot minute. Now I'm second guessing how to pronounce it. Thank you. I'm glad I was right. <laughs> but I'm glad you're here. How have you been? Was it? I'm glad you figured it out, Andrea. I love it. Did it give you the whole chart too, with just like everything? That is, that gets a little confusing. <laughs> Blame it on Jeremy. I love it. Thank you for signing up, Tay. I think there are still some spots. I haven't kept count in my head just, you know, very accurately, but I think there's still some spots left. You had reminders and still... <laughs> she was getting dinner, don't blame her. Hectic, thank you for the swan. That is beautiful. I love it. Yeah, Andrea, looking at the full chart is just like, what is this? <laughs> mm. I want to do a really deep physical relaxation here, kind of like being at the spa. I feel like we all really need it. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to make sure we're all connected to the Reiki, pull it down. Just signed up. Thank you, Annie. I am so excited. I think you're going to love it. Everyone that has signed up, I think you're going to absolutely love it. It's going to be a massive clearing and healing. And then uh, once you experience that and you're like, holy cow, that was amazing. Imagine what three consecutive sessions could do. Yes. Let me make sure everyone's really connected with the Reiki. If you're just coming in, just consent to the energy flow. You may feel warmth or tingling or kind of like electric, uh, electric, electricity like flowing through your body. Just get really connected. Thank you, Sue, for the mini star. Would love to sign up, but not sure if I'll be free. Oh, well, Quinn, yeah, you're not sure on the 19th or the 26th. Um, I will record the calls too, and those will be available for a little while for the free one. If you sign up for the full paid program, you'll always have access to the replays, and the energy healing is just as strong in the replay. Our anniversary is the 20th. He's going to get me one as my gifts. Oh, Rose. I love it. That is so sweet. Just did the free one. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you for signing up. And thank you, Sue, for the roses. I know I have plans the 19th, but I'm not sure about the 26th. Gotcha. Yeah. My only option was the 19th, so I think the 26th is booked. It could be Morgan. Yeah. So is it more clearing than candle clearing sessions? Yeah. So the intent is going to be way more clearing. We're going to go way deeper into the clearing with the candle and the Reiki in that session for sure. So, I mean, you, you better be ready. You better buckle in and be ready. But you don't have to do anything other than just be receptive and open and ready for things to just really fly out that aren't serving you and for the massive healing to take place. Yes, on my website, the link is in my bio. So the first link, that, the first link is the paid program and the second link right under it is the free call. Yes, Annie, I am so excited. Love all of you beautiful souls have laundry to do. Oh yes, go get your laundry done. If you want to just play this in the background, you can too and still receive Reiki. Next month, I'll sign up for your TikTok. Thank you, Sue. Thank you. Thank you for being here. All right, so now I'm just gonna kind of gently push on your bodies. So if you feel a little bit of resistance, it's just me. Um, just let yourself relax. I'm just trying to push you down, not like push you down on the floor, but like push you back. 
and help you relax some more. It's on Zoom, right? Yes, it's on Zoom. <laughs> and they do have the hand raising function. Just let yourself fully sit back and relax into whatever you're sitting on or laying on. And then I'm gonna put like a hot Reiki blanket across you, kind of like if you were getting a massage or something and they put like a warm towel across you. That's what I'm gonna do, just like right across here. So you may feel a heat increase. Oh yes, when we did the, the Heal Your Stress mini program, um, everyone fell asleep and it was great. <laughs> Thank you for the rose, Annie. But in the Heal Your Stress program, like that's exactly what we are wanting. We are wanting you to just completely relax and just pass out. <laughs> that was great. At the end of the call, I would be like, okay, does anyone have anything to share? Silence. I'd be like, okay well i guess i'm gonna end the call now and then i would get messages later like i just woke up and you're gone it was hilarious <sighs> too funny i text my friend i got kicked out and she said it ended yes i remember that I remember because I was sitting at the computer still doing some work and I saw you pop back in and I almost popped back in. I was like, no, maybe she did it on accident. And then you told me you thought you had got kicked out. <laughs> it was hilarious. And thank you all who have joined the free call for the Bloom program. I think there are still some spaces left. Sign up, you have nothing to lose. You're just only going to gain in the free call. So you'll get an introduction to the program and you'll get a healing. So you'll actually get to experience what a healing would be like in the program. Thank you for signing up, Rose. You did, Lauren, I love it. Ooh, oh, I just saw my uh, neighbor's brake lights and that kind of freaked me out. <laughs> Ooh. All right, now I'm gonna go deeper into the body, into the back specifically. I'm gonna draw a symbol and place it into the back. You signed up for the 19th, thank you, Rain. I'm so excited. I think you all are going to love it and you all are going to be like this is what I needed this is it and again this program is to help you clear out the energetic weeds that have been blocking your sunlight not allowing you to bloom if you need to find your path you need to figure out how to get going on your path this is the program for you this is the program I wish I had when I first started to just get all that gunk out of there allow the sun to come through allow you know the the rain to to quench my thirst to come through and to get me started running and to figure out how to you know climb the steps this is that program so it is it is something you need to be really ready for be ready to clear that junk super fast and ready for things to change rapidly all you have to do is be open and receptive to it Mariah, how are you? Thank you for coming in. How has your Wednesday been? Let's bring in some sunstone. I'm feeling some anxiousness come up in some stomachs. So we're gonna also work on that at the same time. You finally got your three. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Cancer. Nikki, that's so similar to me being a Pisces, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. I love it. Maggie. Yes. Let your body physically relax and I'm feeling that's allowing some of that anxiousness you've been holding on to to like slip up to the surface so we can let it go. So just acknowledge it's there. Don't try to like shove it back down right here in this session. Let it come to the surface and be like, okay, I see you. 
and it's okay if you leave me. Thank you, Mariah. I'm glad you're doing well. Oh, Mariah, so um, in Vedic astrology, I think my sign flips to a Scorpio. I think. If I'm remembering correctly, I did calculate it one time, but I don't think I have that chart anymore. I need to do it again. But I believe I flipped to a Scorpio in Vedic. Taurus, Taurus, I can't talk. Taurus, Taurus, Sagittarius. I love that. Rain, are you like a really sort of more like analytical person, really like get things done kind of person? My husband's a Taurus. Depends on the day. <laughs> I'm a Sagittarius in Vedic, I love it. Is it going to be another one of those nights? It might be, Nikki. Really, it might be. You're also a Taurus, Taurus, Sag. I love it. I love the Pisces, Sagittarius combo. Haven't seen that before. Do you, BB? I, I like it. I mean, obviously I'm one, so I like it. <laughs> oh, Andrea, I've already forgotten what your three were. <laughs> I'm kind of screwy. Cancer, Capricorn, Cancer. That's an interesting combination too. I can definitely be headstrong though. Family jokes that I'm never wrong. <laughs> I love it. Scorpio gets such a bad rap, but we're all big loyal feelers who expect what we get 100%. And uh, why did I almost see? Nikki, it is. Just write it down as another one of those nights. Annie, totally true about Scorpios. I love Scorpios too because you kind of have like this. Um, I hate to use this word, but it's kind of what it is. It's like a cocky exterior, but it's very alluring. And then once you kind of break that surface, like pretty much all Scorpios are hilarious and have just like a great sense of humor. Pisces, Taurus, Sag, Katie, I love it. Booked for the 26th. Thank you, India. I think you'll love it. And I think it'll help you heal even more physically too. Capricorn, Gemini, Scorpio. That is a very interesting combination. I feel like your Gemini and Scorpio kind of outweigh your Capricorn in that, just based on like my intuitive feeling. Yeah, so I feel like you're like, you lean more towards like the emotional, um, kind of like big personality side. Being a Libra, I always joke that I accidentally flirt with everyone. <laughs> I love it. Yes, India, it is a group session. And group healing, I'll be honest, when I first started my healing journey, I was like, group healing sounds so lame. But I, I, that's kind of where I started was in group sessions. And then I was like, holy shit, this is powerful. Because you're also getting the healing that everyone is needing. And you're like, dang, I didn't even think I needed to heal that. And you get it in the session too. My husband is a Libra too, and he's so damn charming. I love him. Oh, that's awesome. Again, keep letting any anxiety go in the stomach that has come up since your physical body has been allowed to relax. Me too, India. I'm so excited to do all this for you. Pluto, I'm a Scorpio sun, Cancer moon, Gemini rising. Wait, wasn't that also almost Andrea's? Oh, hers was Capricorn and you're Cancer. Hmm, Pluto. Let me think about that for a minute. I'm Sag, my man is Scorpio, I love it. Yeah, is Pluto, do you feel like you have a big personality too? That's just what I'm feeling like intuitively very emotionally expressive is what I'm getting. Oh, I love Virgos too because they keep me organized. <laughs> Capricorn, Gemini, Libra. Oh, Mariah. I love, is there Reiki for depression? Daniela, good question. You can use Reiki for anything. Right now, my one of my one-on-one -on -one clients is using it for business development, um, but most of my clients use it like for spiritual, mental healing and development. Um, you can use it for anything. So in this session, even though I'm in the body and helping move anxiety, 
if you want to set the intention that Reiki has the permission to also move your um, de uh, depression, it'll absolutely work at the same time. Tarot and Ferrets, Virgo, I love it. I described it once like a live on street medication. On st what? <laughs> Virgo, Sag, Gemini, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> So the Virgo and Sag could make you very like goal oriented and the Gemini, I feel like Gemini can be a little emotional too, could, can make you very charming too. Is the call two hours? We'll kind of see how it goes. I blocked off two hours just in case, um, but I would definitely, um, I would definitely plan for one hour for sure, maybe one and a half. TikTok will ban you if you say the substitute word for medications. Wait, the substitute word? Oh, oh, gotcha. I just saw your text come through too. I was like, medications, what? I got it, it just clicked. I get it now, I get it. <laughs> it was so relaxing, that's what it felt like. Okay, I want to bring in more heat into the physical body. So again, if you want to envision yourself like laying on that massage table or laying on that facial table, whatever it is, I think they both use the same table. I don't think there's like a, a difference, that big of a difference. Um, just laying on that table, you're in a spa and your body is just allowed to fully relax. Maybe not, but that was my first thought, but like emotionally and mentally deep as well. Yes, baby. Thank you, Alex. Identify more with my third house in Scorpio and Gemini. And oh, I love that, Mariah. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, so a lot of people like your moon is kind of like your, 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 in your emotions, your internal emotions. So a lot of people tend to identify as that more. And it kind of depends, like some days I feel more Sagittarius, some days I feel more Pisces. You know, it just, it kind of depends. Kind of, It depends on the day, really, what energy you like embody. Identify more, oh, I already heard that one. I'm a Gemini sun and rising with Scorpio moon. Ooh, I did my chart again with my exact birth chart. I'm a Gemini rising Pisces sun, Aries moon, Rose, I love it. Birth time, not chart. No, I gotcha. Yeah, it's more accurate if you have your birth time because your birth time, it can like flip you into another house. I'm like three hours shy of being a Virgo, but feel more Leo. Yes. You want to do some scraping with the black kyanite? I'm feeling some more like tension, like gunky tension on the back. Oh, Pluto, I'm so excited for you to join. My birth time totally flipped my moon, see? All right, so we're gonna bring in black kyanite and scrape some stressful gunk off the back. And again, if you've never been in here and used black kyanite, the scraping does not hurt. It's energetic scraping, it feels amazing. Ooh, we could, yes. My soul yearns for black kyanite. <sighs> yeah. I'll bring in the Desert Rose in a minute. I feel like we just need to scrape with the Black Kyanite for a second here. Sorry if you can hear my washer. I can hear my washer. I don't know if you can. It's like underneath me in the basement. But I can hear like a... <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. I'm feeling, what does black kyanite do? Ooh, good question. You can't hear it, good, okay. I think I'm just really sensitive to the sound of the washer. Um, so black kyanite is amazing for getting all of the chakras in alignment super quick. Um, kyanites in general are really amazing energy aligners, um, but the black kyanite I in particularly like to use for things like physical pain, 
pulling out stress, the scraping like we're doing right now, those are my favorite uses for it. When you just have something that's really stuck, the kyanite is what I recommend. Oh, hang on. I think I missed your first comment, Rose. I just see the two of two. So I, the one of one disappeared on, or not, not the one of one, the one of two disappeared on me. Are you saying, is someone going to be in the house at the same time as the appointment? That's okay if someone is. You don't have to, you don't have to kick anybody out if that's what you're asking. Just make sure you have a space where you can relax the best you can. That's all you have to do. Okay, so on the right side of my body, I'm feeling more stickiness on that side. So if this is you, maybe you hold a lot of your tension more in your right side. Just breathe and release. Let the kyanite and the reiki fill the space and move that stress. Thank you, Lauren. Andrea, yes. Okay, we're gonna work on this. Get some more gunk out of there. Now I'm gonna go straight down the middle. Oh, I am so sorry, Rose. Yeah, let's keep scraping here. And I think the universe said bring me in the desert rose now is good. So this is like a, a crackly, sparkly feeling is the best way to describe it. Um, kind of like how Rice Krispies pop and crackle. I'll let you feel it and you'll get what I mean. <laughs> and this is gonna uplift everything too. Uplift the vibe and just help you relax even more so we can get deeper. Thank you, Mariah. Thank you, I love Desert Rose. I want a big piece of it. I want a huge piece, but I haven't found one yet. Oh, thank you, Mariah. Last night, the right side of my head, ear, mouth, nose, and eye all hurt. Nikki, I'm so sorry. Did it feel like tension? Shaking, Andrea. <laughs> Definitely feel the tingles from this one. Yes, Ginger, I love Desert Rose because of how tingly it is. This is some good intense energy. Yes, I'm glad you're feeling it, Rihanna. Now it's the little pops. Yes, Ginger. It just, it's like listening to a bowl of Rice Krispies snap, crackle, and pop. Like, that's what this is like. I don't even know it was bizarre. That's interesting, Nikki. It could have been stress-related. Like, for some reason, all the stress was just, like, gathering on that side. I didn't know what to expect, but you nailed it. Thank you, Ginger. I try to be as descriptive as I can when I'm using a stone on you. Of course, different stones can feel differently to everyone, but I try to, like give like a general description of what most people would feel. Are you a Reiki master? Yes, I am. Oh, Mariah, I would love to teach you. I don't have any classes going yet, but I am capable of teaching. I just don't have any yet, but I hope to soon. I didn't want to make any promises. I thought I would teach at the end of this year. It's still not out of the realm of possibilities, but I just don't know yet. Irene, hello, how are you? Yes, exactly, Jill, like sparkles, exactly. Irene, also, if you haven't signed up for our free um, Bloom call on the 19th or the 26th, we are going to do a full energy healing, clearing and Reiki healing. And then I'll introduce you to Bloom too. It's like being scraped underwater and bubbles cover you. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Mariah. Thank you, BB. Oh, Irene, I love that. You started it on the Lionsgate portal. That has to be an amazing sign. So excited for you. I am so excited for the 19th and the 26th too. Maybe so I woke up with it, stayed up a little while and it eased. Yeah, I would say that was probably tension related. 
especially in our sleep, sometimes we tend to like, you know, tense up people. Not everyone tenses up in their sleep, but like me, sometimes I go to bed thinking about something and like I'll continue thinking about it in my sleep and I might wake up with some tension from it. I saw a bit about Bloom, it sounds awesome. Is it like the stress relief program? So it is completely different from stress relief program, good question. So the Bloom program is to pull all of the energetic weeds, get the tendrils off of you that have been overshadowing you so that you can bloom. So maybe you don't know where you wanna go in life. You don't know really who you are, what you wanna be, or maybe you do but you just haven't been able energetically to make anything happen. This is the program for you. <laughs> no, you're fine, Andrea. And um, so like, this is the program I wish that I had had when I started my energy healing, just to get all of that junk off of me so that I could see the sunlight come through, I could feel the air on my face and I could see a path and not just see it, but start running down that path and just letting things be easy, seeing the joy, seeing the good, and also being actionable in life. So that is what Bloom is all about. So there is that free call where again, you can learn about Bloom, but also get an energy, a full energy healing session. So you have nothing to lose, everything to gain in that session, you will be gaining in that session. And then if you do that energy healing, you're like, yes, Bloom is for me this is what I need, then you can sign up for the full thing. If you want to sign up now too, you can, but if you want to get a taste of it first, you can get a taste of it first too. Thank you, Andrea. I think my subconscious does its best figuring out. Yeah, totally, Ginger. That makes sense. I have premonitions in my dreams or figure out problems then. Yes, exactly. Will it, India? I am so excited. I think you're gonna love it. So you're gonna get a candle clearing session that you've seen me do on full moons, and then also an intensive Reiki healing session all in that same session. So be ready to buckle in. <laughs> you don't have to do anything other than be receptive, and it is going to clear, clear, clear. You're going to feel that energy come off of you. Um, you're gonna feel those energetic weeds come off of you so the sun can finally come in, and we're going to do some massive healing in the mindset and your energy to get you going. So I'm so excited to do that for you. That is awesome, Andrea. I'm feeling some energy stuck under someone's rib cage, like around the rib cage. I mean, if this is you, if this is what you're feeling, I'm just going to work in there for a minute so everyone in here can still benefit from this, still get healing again. The Reiki is still flowing through the entire body. I just feel something stuck under the rib cage, so I'm going to feel into this. So it can help clear old stuff that is just hanging out or showing up again. Exactly, Irene, exactly. It's exactly what it's going to do, and it's going to be rapid and huge. I'm so excited to do it. Like this program has been coming to me for a while um, and I'm just like, holy cow, like this program was created to do it quickly because that's sometimes what you need when you're, especially when you're first starting your healing journey. But again, you can do this program at any point in your healing journey, but it's really great for those who are just starting out or just feeling like there's a hump they need to get over. This is going to clear the gunk fast. <laughs> the universe is going to have a huge part in this and be massively clearing and healing. Is it, Andrea? Yes, let's work on these ribs here. It feels like more tension and stress that was built up down there. It had just kind of moved up that way. So I want you to breathe out and envision that all of that like energetic stress leave your body and go out into Reiki. So breathe in, breathe out, let it go, see it go. Breathe in, breathe out, see the stress leave, see it go up into Reiki and see Reiki transform it. Take another big deep breath in, breathe it out. Let it go, let Reiki take it. 
let Reiki take it. And just relax here. I'm going to draw another symbol. Thank you, Lauren. And thank you all for being here and doing something for yourself. I have not said that in a minute, but if you haven't been here before, um, I'm a huge advocate of self-care and making sure you are taking care of yourself. We unfortunately live in a society that does not really uh, stress the importance of that nor encourage it. In fact, I would say discourage it and you know tend to label it as lazy. Um, but you cannot give and you cannot be healthy if you do not take time to recharge. Yes, grab some water. Tarot, I'm on high. I helped two people tonight with career coaching. It feels so good. Tarot, I love it. I'm so excited. And I can't wait to um, pick out a time that we can meet and talk about uh, other business things. Do weekends work okay with you if we needed to do um, a weekend or we could do just some time in the evening during the week? I feel, I feel like, I can't talk, felt like psychic surgery. <laughs> Thank you, Pams. Thank you for accepting. Thank you all for being here. And again, if you're new here, say hello. We have an amazing group of people in here where you can share anything. We're all here to support each other. Let this be your time to relax. Let yourself recharge. Thank you, Polly, for the heart me. This is your time to take care of yourself. We do, Nikki. We have the best group. We really do. This would not be what it is without you all. I'm so thankful you're all here. Have fire going through under my ribs. I love it. Any crystals to aware to promote healthy pregnancy? Ooh, I am intuitively uh, feeling carnelian for you, Alex. I feel like that's a good one. That's a good one for the womb space. Ooh, also, um, pink opal. I have a little piece of pink opal somewhere over here. This little one, this teeny little pink opal, it's like a milky pink, very light pink. Um, you can get carnelian and pink opal um, with Loving Thyself Rocks. They're linked in my bio and they have nice little stones or big stones, whatever you want. Those are really good for the womb space and to help uh, with pregnancy. Thank you for the cat paw, Nikki. I love pink opal too, it's just so sweet. Ooh, and rose quartz too. Any of those pink stones would be great. Um, carnelian is more for like physical uh, support of the body during pregnancy. So I really highly recommend that one. You're welcome, Alex. And again, the people that I buy crystals from, the people that I trust, they're all linked in my bio too. You just have to scroll down. Um, so like the first set of links are like all of my links. And then after that comes the crystal sellers that I buy from. I had to stop myself from buying a bunch of crystals last live. Oh, I love it, Annie. <laughs> I feel like anything pink, red, or orange would be good. Exactly, Lauren. Yeah, things that resonate down in uh, that space would be really good. And actually, um, now that I'm thinking about it, so Loving Thyself Rocks, the person I just mentioned. Thank you, Nikki, for the lightning. Um, it's a husband and wife team, actually, and they just went through a pregnancy journey. Thank you, Nikki, for the rose. And she, um, or they have it, a Facebook is not a Facebook, oh my gosh, an Instagram. And they shared some of that pregnancy journey on there. And I think the crystals that she personally used, she has on there somewhere too. And I think she even wrote a book on crystals too recently. But I know they just went through a massive pregnancy journey. Um, she was someone that had trouble getting pregnant and she worked with a bunch of crystals 
um, to make it happen and to have a healthy pregnancy. All right, I wanna move down into the legs. Someone's legs feel restless. Who is this? Who's the culprit? <laughs> Let's move down into the legs and relax them. We sometimes tend to forget our legs and feet when we talk about self-care and pampering. Andrea, <laughs> Ginger, yes, it's probably several of you. Again, if you're not sure, if you're new to how I work, um, so I tune into the universe, I'm considered an empath and that is not the ability to empathize. Um, in the spiritual realm, that means the ability to feel energetic and physical manifestations in the body. Oh, Lauren, that sucks. I'm so sorry. Me too. Just laid down with my kids and feel it. Yes, Megali, let's get in there. Oh no, Sophia, you're fine. You have plenty of time. Had a cramp in your leg today. I am so sorry. Nikki says, not me tonight. <laughs> Are you Mariah? That is awesome. Yeah, for to be honest, for a while, like there was like some drama on TikTok about it, but they were talking about people who say, oh, I can feel your pain so much. Like that's what they were talking about. So I was a little nervous to be like, I'm an empath. Let me know, who cares? I'm an empath, that is how I work. I feel the energetic manifestations. I feel the physical manifestations. That is how I work. That's why my appointments are so personally tailored and deep and effective because that's how I work and that's what I do. So there you go, like just own it. <laughs> that is the best thing you can do in your healing is just to own it and live it authentically. Thank you, Anne, for the butterflies. It is so much deeper. It's not just being able to Again, empathize the you know the traditional meaning empathize with someone's feelings. It is actually going into the body and like being able to see and feel like what's going on so that you can work on it. It's almost like having x-ray vision of sorts. <laughs> oh no, Lauren, oof. Does is AFV still on air? Are they still running? That's kind of like a different topic, but are they? I'm curious. We maybe can, Sophia. Yeah, right now I'm working on some restless legs. I thought I was an empath. You asked the universe if I was. It said yes. My mom says I'm not. Annie, we talked about that. I remember that conversation. You, you, you are. I really feel that you are. But, um... Sometimes people don't want to see others' growth or, or are a little jealous. So yeah, don't let other people tell you, uh, you know, don't let them tell you that. When it's probably not coming from the best place, if you catch my drift. Thank you, Steven, for subscribing for the 10th month. They have a TikTok for real? Let's just get down into those legs and feet. I'm feeling like there's a lot of people in here that are on their feet during the day. Let's pamper those feet for a moment. Yeah, it was so random too. Thank you for the reminder. Absolutely, Annie. I There was something I saw on Instagram the other day. I don't think I reposted it, but I needed to. Maybe I'll go back and find it. Um, and it was that people judge from where they're at. So that means if they're at a place where they're not ready to accept who they are, um, they're not happy with themselves, that is how they're judging you. So just sit with that and take that. It's a very powerful statement, a very powerful thought. Ooh, Mariah, um, that's a good question. I've kind of always been this way, um, but I would say probably within the last three and a half years is when I really realized it and was like, oh, that's what that is. Oh, Sophia, I am so sorry. I'm not on my feet, but goodness, I can feel this in my feet. Good. 
I think we'll have time to pull a cord before the end. We probably could, Rose, yeah. We could probably do a bit of cord pulling near the end. Oh, that's awesome, Andrea, yes. Yeah, that's fine. I love that statement. I need to work on not caring what other people think exactly, Mariah. Yeah, um, not that like every piece of judgment like comes from, you know, a bad place, but most of the time people are judging from where they're at. Um, so, you know, if it's not someone that you look up to or would go to for advice, um, then, you know, just, you know, take it with a grain of salt, you know? Just think about, you know, that judgment that's coming from that person, where are they at? And is this someone that I feel gives great advice, that does help people, that does help people grow? Is this someone that does really care and is trying to help me? Or is this coming from where they're at in their life, you know? You get what I mean? Wait, who's sleeping? Marie, probably. <laughs> If that's what you're talking about. <sighs> Never take advice from someone whose life you wouldn't emulate. Exactly, Irene. Exactly. That is a really good piece of advice. And now I'm just slowly coming back up into the calf area. Yeah, so when someone comes at you with judgment or criticism, again, it's great to be open to criticism and receptive to it and, you know, and, you know, change from it. But again, think about the source, you know, just really think about, is this coming from someone who is kind and caring and is honestly giving me this kind of, you know, feedback from a place of love and wanting me to see me grow and expand? Or is this coming from someone who just kind of has something negative to say about everyone all the time and doesn't really do anything to help? So just think about that. Come on up to the stomach. Oh, India. Yeah, let's work our way up. You feel me in the calves? Yes. Let me go up into the thighs. Let's go ahead and hit the thighs. And I just realized this the other day. So if you see me like when I'm talking and I'm talking from this way a lot, I have a giant scratch in my glasses that I'm trying to look around. <laughs> so I'm not trying to be weird and talk to you from the side of my face. I'm just literally looking around a scratch. I need to get my other pair of glasses. I don't know why I haven't changed them yet. I just haven't. <laughs> I just noticed I was doing it a lot this live. I'm like, oh, it's the scratch on my glasses. <laughs> well, now you do. Now you notice. <laughs> I brought that up. Thank you. Thank me. That was great. Thank you, Mariah. Thank you. All right, let's go up into the hips and start hitting that lower stomach and then working all the way up into the stomach. It really does, Nikki. It acts like so many things. We know it's like a, a vascular, it attacks the, the back, I can't talk, it attacks the back, give me a second, I'll get it, it attacks the vascular system, so like your heart valves, the, the, all of that stuff, but it also can make you feel like you have a stomach flu, it is very weird, especially with all the strains, thank you Annie. I just got new glasses and I absolutely hate the lenses. Oh, I'm sorry, Lauren. One day, Nikki, I'll be able to talk one day. I swear I know what I'm talking about. It just doesn't come out of my mouth right all the time. <laughs> it's like my brain's moving faster than my mouth can. All right, now we're really in the stomach. 
They are. They're hard. <laughs> You're back. Hi, Quinn. How are you? Headache just being absolutely drained was the worst. I am so sorry, Nikki. Yeah. So again, we're still just like in the feet up to the stomach is where we're at right now. Just really focusing on that space. I've been having bad sinus problems the last few days. Ooh, Quinn, I think my sinus video is pinned. I had a, I've had a lot of great feedback on it and I use Lapis in that if you wanna try it out. Thank you for the finger heart, Annie. All right, Andrea, I'll see you later. Hi, Not Tracy, how are you? How are you doing? Welcome in. I had it before they knew it was. Holy cow. Three weeks sick? Yeah, I remember that, Lauren. There were people in my town. I was part of like the Facebook page and people were like, what is this? We're so sick. And that was before we knew. It was wild seeing it happen and thinking back, oh crap. You know, how many people had it? Yes, Quinn, absolutely. Glad you're doing better now. I'm glad you're here. Lanaya, hey, how are you? Welcome in. How have you been? Did you, Quinn? Yeah, it was wild. Oh, Lauren, I am so sorry. Yeah, you know, then they didn't know what it was and doctors were like, we think it's some kind of like viral thing. We don't really know. Just rest, drink water. You know, we'll give you, is it a Z pack? I might be thinking wrong, don't quote me. But like nothing was working on these people. It was crazy. Oh, Lanaya, I am so sorry. I'm glad you're here. Sit back and relax. Get some of this energy. Yes, that's what I've been hearing too, India. Like a sinus infection now is what it seems like more, or how it feels uh, now more. Now let's move up to the chest. Bring the chest into this. Oh no, Quinn, I am so sorry. Have you had any like lingering symptoms or are you, are you good now? Or did you have any lingering symptoms? I thought it was the flu, so I went to get a shot before it went full blown. Yeah, Lauren. It's weird the different ways that it makes people feel. Yes, I'm so glad they finally have something now that can help. But you do, right? You have to get it within a certain window. So if you're feeling weird, you're feeling strange, this goes for anything that you may have. Don't put off going to get yourself checked out. Take care of yourself. It's better to catch something early or to find out that maybe it's nothing, you know, than it to be something and get worse. Wow, Quinn, holy cow. Did it, Lauren? I am so sorry. Now we're going up into the neck and the jaw is what I'm feeling. So untense that jaw if you're clenching it. If you have TMJ, let it relax. up into the whole head. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry to everyone that has it and have had it. Definitely sending so much healing energy. Lungs are healthy though, got everything tested. Good, good Lauren. Yeah, especially with those earlier variants, it was very scary. I mean, it's still scary, but I mean, back then when we literally knew nothing and people were unfortunately losing their lives in extremely painful ways, that was terrifying. I don't think I have any. I don't think I have. There's always the chance that I could have been one of the asymptomatic people, but I don't think I have. My uncle and grandma had to go to the hospital. I am so sorry, Quinn. My father-in-law did too, and he now has diabetes. Diabetes came on from it. 
and he he was scarily close to having to be vented and you know going on the, the vent um can sometimes mean you're probably not you know probably not going to be the best outcome so he opted not to go on the vent and he luckily he made it Really, Annie? Yeah, I don't, again, I don't think I have. <laughs> but again, I could have been asymptomatic, um, but I don't think I have. Are you the universe's, how does it feel to be the universe's favorite stuff? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it can, Quinn. And unfortunately, my brother-in-law, um, you guys, some of you guys may have been here when a family member passed. It was my brother-in-law. Um, and he actually passed from it, um, caused some heart issues and it unfortunately took him. So nothing to play around with. And, um, I'm not going to argue with it about, I'm not going to argue about it with anyone. So I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I've never been formally diagnosed with it, but I think had it before they knew very possible Megali it was circulating um you know before we even knew it it was circulating thank you Annie thank you Mariah I am so sorry Megali thank you Maggie thank you Alex same Quinn same it's very sad I wish it didn't have to be this way but here we are and we got to do the best we can with what information we have I just want everyone to take care of themselves, be kind to each other, understand that us being kind to each other and us being healthy people and a community that works together just makes all of us better. That's just really what I'm getting at. Thank you, India. I am so sorry. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Everyone that worked or works in healthcare during this, you guys definitely have so much of my respect. All right, do you wanna do a little cord pulling? I feel like we have some stress cords we can let go. Were you India? Holy cow. Holy cow, woman. That is crazy. You're like a superwoman. Yes, we can absolutely do some uh, cord pulling. I have some energy moving. Okay, there we go. Can you say that again on the stress cords? Oh, you can say that again on the stress cords. I read that wrong. It's getting late. <laughs> Nursing homes in Illinois. Yeah, uh, Lauren, yes. I was so blessed, went to work from home. Oh, that's amazing, Nikki. Your shoulders relaxed, yes. All right, so I want you to take a big deep breath in. And as you do this, envision gathering every piece of stress up in your body into a ball. <laughs> and then exhale and send it over to me. This is one giant cord. I'm gonna slowly pull it at first, keep envisioning sending it over to me take another breath and like really push it <sighs> let it go let it go that was a big one that was a big one let's fill it with reiki putting the power symbol in it and believe people when they say covid babies are different i know india aren't they It's like, it's, it's kind of sad, but it's also kind of interesting, but they are. I, I feel so much for the, the people that have had to grow up during it, but it was kind of cute seeing uh, videos of kids like first going back out into the world who hadn't really been out of the house and they would go into a store and they would just be like, oh my God, <laughs> just like, what is this? Sends over a hundred feet of cord at once, yes. Okay, take another big deep breath in. 
gather up all of that stress. This one feels like it's gonna come out of the stomach, so be ready. Gather it up, send it over to me. Let me pull it. This feels, it's like three, and then they're wrapping into one. This is interesting, okay. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh, backfill it with Reiki. How did that one feel? How do we feel after those two big ones? Thank you, Lauren. And yes, the free energy call to help you bloom is linked in the bio. It's an introduction call to the full program called Bloom, of course. So you can get a free session, feel it out. And if you're like, yeah, this is my calling. I'm ready to pull these weeds. I'm ready to get this gunk out. I'm ready to go forward in my life. I'm ready to make things happen. Join the free program. You will not regret it. Feels a little lighter. Good, India. Yeah, I think I'm having some of your stomach upset, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Mm, throat cord, interesting. All right, so take a big deep breath in, gather up all of the energy. Breathe out, send it over to me, let me pull. Pitchfork, holy crap, who's in a pitchfork? <laughs> Who did that? <sighs> Fill it with Reiki. One of you had an energetic pitchfork that came out of your throat. <sighs> Spicy words, as I would call them. <laughs> oh, that's too funny, India. Yeah, it looked like a pitchfork. Rose, was it you? Oh, uh, Alexis, you mean like what was the pitchfork? So it was just like, um, a symbol of sorts, letting me know that like something with like really like harsh words was coming out. Rose says on the fork sender. <laughs> I can feel the bubbling in my throat. Oh my goodness, Megali. I think that's what's holding me up all day in overwhelming stress load. Rose, I am so sorry. Your ears popped, Maggie? Yes. It was so funny, like I was pulling the cord and the pitchfork just went like zoom. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Glad we got that out of there. Less stressed, lighter, and I think also I contributed to the throat. <laughs> yes, Alex. It's lovely and good as I keep sending it over for you to deal with. Yes, Rose, absolutely. <laughs> keep doing that. Ooh, and you might want to cough <coughs> to help move some more energy. Humming, coughing, singing, talking, whatever, that helps energy move too. Let's do some more chords. I feel like these are going to come from several different places, so it doesn't matter. Wherever you want to send energy from, gather it up as you breathe in, gather all of it up. And as you breathe out, send it all over to me. Six chords, and they're different colors, okay. There's an orange, there's a blue, gray, stemming from the head down into the stomach. Keep sending them, sending them, let it go, push harder with the breath. Let it go. Don't think about it. Let it go. Don't think about it. Filling with Reiki. Filling with Reiki. How does that feel? Wow, that really lightened up the bodies is what it feels like. Wait, what? What are we talking about? There's no toilet paper? What? Oh, Maya, I'm glad. 
glad you're here. Welcome in. Quinn just burped. <laughs> no, I said it's fine, Rose. I'm like, why are we talking about toilet paper? Are we talking about the great uh, toilet paper fiasco of 2020? Is that what we're talking about? I keep a stockpile now. Not like a massive stockpile, but you know, enough. Keep enough if like, you know, it goes out of stock again. We're not hurting for it. We also have a bidet to wash ourselves. Learned to get one real quick when that happened. Indy said she was gassy and I said, is that the reason there was no toilet paper? <laughs> feel heaviness in my chest like a weight is on there oof okay let's pull again let's pull again I feel lightness in most of the bodies now but let's pull again again as you envision gathering the stress when you blow out let it go and don't think about it don't be like I've got to send this over to her just be like it's going to her and it's done okay so take a big deep breath in Push it out. This is like green and gray, interesting. Let it go a little bit more. <coughs> there we go. Now let it go with Reiki. Do you have any of the Claire's? Yes, Claire Sentience, Claire Cognizance. Um, Claire Cognizance is my biggest one. Just like knowing, just knowing. Don't know why I know it, but I know it. <laughs> Thank you for consenting. Is it the day all that people say it is? Uh, I mean, sorta, India. I still use a little bit of toilet paper after it because I just can't stand that wet feeling. So like I have to, gotta dry, you know? But I would say it's pretty, it's pretty useful. Depends on what you get. Some of them, so you can get one that goes like right on the toilet you already have and just like hook it into the line, the water line. Yes, India, I'm glad I got it, yes. Um, but just be careful, some of those on Amazon are just weird. Um, some of them can be a little too powerful and just the water can be a little too hard. Um, so look for a good one. Don't be afraid to, to splurge a little bit on a good one. Um, so Megaly, sometimes, yeah. Um, so the green and gray, it seemed like there was a little bit of money, something around money coming out for someone, and the gray was just like a mush of stressful energy is what that looked like. Me too, Annie. Hello, Catherine, how are you? Oh, and let me catch up on some comments. Maya, thank you for the hand wave. Oh, Sophia, I'm so sorry I missed your comment earlier. Um, you were asking, what does the free call do? So the free call is for the introduction of my Bloom program, which is a three-week program. But the call, again, is free. You will get a free healing session. You'll get to see what a session is like in the three-week program. So we're going to pull the energetic weeds that are keeping you from blooming into your best self. So if you maybe are foggy headed about where to go, how to get there, what you wanna do, or maybe you do already know those things, but you just feel like energy is stuck to you, keeping you down. We're gonna get those tendrils off of you that have been holding you down, clear your energy fast, heal your energy fast, and get you going down your path. So that is what the free call is about. I'm glad you're here, Catherine. Thank you for joining. And again, join our free call if you haven't already. Link is in the bio. And then if you're like, heck yeah, this is the program I need, join the full program. You will not regret it. This is the program I wish I had had when I started my healing journey. Oh, Quinn, I'm so sorry. Mariah, I am so sorry. I'm glad you got another one and are able to start getting caught up. And guys, it is tuck-in time. A wedding in October, Mecca Lee, congratulations. Let me tuck you into your bed made of Reiki, get you nice and snug, get you wrapped up so you can go to sleep and have a nice sleep. Let that energy tingle on your skin and dance around.
Woke up in time to tuck in, Van, yes. Van, I know you were a part of the uh, Heal Your Stress Mini program. I have another free call for our Bloom program. Links are in the bio. I think you would like it if you want to check it out. Tighten me up now, yes. Let me tuck you in nice and secure. Nikki, that is so funny. All right, you are all tucked in. And I will see you in the next one. And for those of you who have joined the free Bloom calls, I will see you in those. I'm so excited to do them for you. Thank you, India. I hope you feel better. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Thank you for the high bear van. <laughs>